Welcome to Divine Light Meditation, channeled by Ophenia and Sakal with the Family of Light. In this session, we connect with Lord Ashtar and Ashtar Command for a Galactic Soul Extension Healing Meditation. Taking some deep breaths, focusing your energy into your heart space, your threefold flame at the center of your heart. With each breath, your heart flame expands until it reaches six feet in all directions from the center of your heart. creating your heart sphere filled with your energetic signature, your heart spark, your spirit. Expanding this energy down now through your lower chakras to Mother Earth's heart, anchoring deeply with her, magnetically wrapping your heart energy around hers, deeply connected and receive from her now. Breathing this energy in and up. Sending this out through your higher chakras all the way to source, connecting deeply with source now. Receiving powerful source light, love, divine power energies pouring down through your pillar your column of light filling with this waterfall of source, light, love, divine power. Anchoring again into Mother Earth's heart, breathing in and up to source, out and down to Mother Earth's heart saturating deeply all areas of your pillar. Continue breathing up and down your pillar. As we now ask for Divine Mother, Divine Father, the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, the karmic board, our divine presences, Lord Ashtar, the Ashtar Command, To merge deeply and fully with us now through all dimensions of our fields, we ask for our divine presences, our guides and our ascension councils to work in harmonious group consciousness together so the highest of the highest of the highest will be shown here for all of us in our here and now. We ask for a temple of Mother Gaia grounding to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of galactic healing to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. We ask for a temple of divine union to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. And finally calling on a divine presence, communion temple, to anchor and activate through all dimensions of our fields. Feel these energies braid throughout your multidimensional energy field. Threading, weaving, raising you up. Vibrating higher and higher as you find yourself in the Divine Presence Communion Temple. Connect with the crystal at the core of the space and relax. Allow yourself to find your place and surrender into the temple. Feel supported deeply, feel the power, strength, the stability that is already emanating within the space and allow yourself 
to surrender, allow yourself to open up, allow yourself to receive deeply. Continue breathing up to source and down to the core of Mother Earth. Up to source and down to the core of Mother Earth. Up to source, down to the core of Mother Earth. Drop deeper into yourself, deeper into your inner world, relax more. Let go of those limiting thoughts, limiting emotions, breathe them down to the core of Gaia for transformation. And keep connecting with the crystal at the core of the temple, sending out your energy through the front of your 12 primary chakras, receiving from the crystal, sending to the crystalline consciousness, receiving assisting you to ground deeply here in the Divine Presence Communion Temple. As we are greeted by Lord Ashtar and Ashtar Command, emissaries from Ashtar Command, representatives of Ashtar Command, they stand all around the inside of the temple space. And create a powerful connection for you to their very high frequency field. Feel the love and light they share. Take it in. Lord Ashtar shares as well, this will allow you to let go of any limiting beliefs, limiting thoughts, limiting stories, limiting worries, fears, emotions. Allow the field to transform these for you. Keep letting go, trust your spirit has brought you here. In no time, no space to receive. For healing, for empowerment increasing the amount of love and light in your field. As you receive, Lord Ashtar explains that the session is a collective session, yet a very individual one as well. Each soul present will meet the soul extension in their multidimensional field. The soul, like themselves, part of their unique energetic signature, their spirit's unique energetic signature, that is living lifetimes as well in other realms, other times, timelines, places, worlds. And this specific session is focused on finding, meeting, assisting the healing of the soul extension that is currently most influencing your earthly incarnation, that you are empathing, telepathing, resonating with. You are feeling their physical, mental, emotional, spiritual challenges, worries, fears, constrictions, and it is influencing your field. And this is the reason your spirit has reached out and in this session format allow you to facilitate a healing for this particular soul extension. A small teaching on soul extensions, Lord Ashtar says, There are an X amount of soul extensions in your multidimensional field. Let's use the number 144. 
Each soul extension is a soul like yourself. Living, having lived, will live in the future, if you look at linear timelines, many lifetimes. So you as a soul in your current earthly incarnation have lived hundreds of lifetimes. So has each of your soul extensions. You will be joining, meeting, witnessing a lifetime of one of your soul extensions that is currently most in need of your assistance and that is currently most influencing your earthly creations. And this is unique for each and every soul present. He smiles. Each soul present will board a smaller or sometimes larger Ashtar Command ship and through the inner realms be taken to the point of contact for this particular soul extension. And the life of this soul extension currently most influencing your earthly incarnation. So instead of traveling in group Merkaba, for instance, to another realm, you now travel each individually in an Ashtar Command ship. Lord Ashtar energetically, he says, will be part of each soul's healing. And each ship will hold an Ashtar Command crew, high frequency crew, who will facilitate, hold space for the healing. Some of you have all your clair senses available to you. Others only one or two. It matters not, Lord Ashtar says, whether you use clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, clairknowing. Clear cognizance, and so many others. It matters not, you will use the senses, intuitive senses available to you to facilitate the healing process. Lord Ashtar will guide you, he says, in the steps to the healing process. Breathe up and down your pillar a few times. Again, letting go of any limiting thoughts, beliefs, emotions, stories, worries, fears. They may be old stories of your lifetimes in connection to Ashtar Command. Set them free. Hand them over to the Ashtar Command representatives or breathe them down to the core of Gaia for transformation. Each soul present will now be greeted by two or three, sometimes more representatives, depending on the size of the ship you will be traveling on. And they are there to greet you and take you to your soul extension in need of healing. With your spirit, your spirits, the course has been set to each individual soul extension. Whether in this galaxy or another galaxy. 
Milky Way, Andromeda as examples, or beyond. The Divine Presence Communion Temple is in no time, no space. And from there you will be taken to a lifetime of your soul extension more connected to time and space. Follow your representatives now to the ship that will take you to your soul extension. Again, Lord Ashtar will be with each and every soul present, multidimensionally. Take time to board your ships now through the many exits in the Divine Presence Communion Temple. All souls have now comfortably boarded their Ashtar Command ship. Have a seat. Set up your pillar again. Keep breathing it down to the core of Gaia. Up to source. Down to the core of Gaia. Up to source. Down to the core of Gaia. And the Ashtar Command ship now takes you to witness your soul extension in the timeline where this soul extension needs the most support. Lord Ashtar explains to all souls to enjoy the journey, enjoy the experience 
Just enjoy taking in all the details, yet not to let the lower mind get stuck on the details, trying to figure it all out, trying to remember everything, trust the journey. Allow it to be an experience, remain present, consciously present, to take it all in. All ships are now arriving. At the soul extension in need of healing. Depending on the circumstances of the life of your soul extension and the timeline of your soul extension, some souls will remain present on the Ashtar Command ship and do the healing from there. Others will step out of the ship and walk to a certain area or even fly or glide to a certain area. For some it is underground, for some it is more an energetic realm, be open to anything. You will now be taken to the point of origin to witness the circumstances of your soul extension. Your soul extension will not witness you at this time. You are first offered insights into the situation so you can start seeing what is happening, feeling what is happening. Most soul extensions will be in dire straits. They will be moving through all sorts of intense scenarios with deep emotion, fight or flight, disconnected from source, their realm, others feeling alone or in battles. Be open to all of it. Seal your telepathic and empathic centers. Remembering you are here to assist, not to simply take the energy on for your soul extension. Yet you will clearly witness why this soul extension's energy has been influencing your earthly timelines. You will recognize the emotions the energetics of the situation. As an example, your soul extension feels fully trapped and locked up. This is perhaps how you've been feeling at times, sometimes strongly, in your earthly life. With a reminder that your spirit is taking you to the soul extension and the timeline of this soul extension, the life of that soul extension that is most resonant with the challenges you have been experiencing in your earthly incarnation. This is a large dispensation offered to you by your spirit, facilitated by Lord Ashtar and Ashtar Command. Be a witness now to the scene, the life of your soul extension.
Now that you have witnessed the circumstances of your soul extension, it is time to start the healing process. Lord Ashtar will direct, and he says the first step is to place a large energetic healing field around your soul extension and their part of their world, their world. Let's say they're in a certain building, you place it around the building, you will be guided Follow your guidance. Start with white, blue, pink or gold energies and follow your guidance. And this may change to different colors or different energetic frequencies. For instance, love or light or healing or support. Or if they are trapped, a feeling of freedom. This Lord Ashtar is where you will be guided to use your creativity. He reminds you, you cannot make mistakes. It is all about your intention. So trust your guidance and your intuition and feel good about this. Feel good about this healing. Allow your spirit and your support teams to guide you in your healing process. Allow your natural healing abilities to flow. Place a healing field which you may see as a cube or a sphere or a flower of life sphere or anything else. Place this around your soul extension and their physical circumstance now. This is the first time they will very gently in the outer parts of their field start to feel something in their world changing. They are too locked down in their circumstances to witness it fully, but it is like a feather tickle in the outer edges of their field, this first initial healing field. As you notice the healing field stabilize and establish itself, Lord Ashtar invites you through your heart and your brow to start sending loving energy to the heart of your soul extension in the heart to heart connection and brow to brow to start coaching your soul extension with words that you may speak out loud or in your head as you would normally support a friend, a family member, a loved one. You can say anything like, you can do it. I'm here to assist you. Let go of this now. You are safe. Anything to support them in their current circumstance. Use your telepathy for that brow to brow and through your heart Send beautiful loving energy, channel this loving energy from your spirit through your heart to their heart. You will not be giving of yourself, draining yourself. You are a conduit of these energies, Lord Ashtar explains. Take time for this now, brow to brow coaching, heart to heart sending love.
All souls will have witnessed their soul extension now is aware of them. In most cases has started to transform. Starting to raise up out of their circumstance. Access higher timelines of creation. Outrun. any enemies, escape from any trapped circumstances, release any lower level emotions and thoughts, heal any wounds, keep focusing on sending love and coaching through the brow telepathically. Your spirit will also guide you now to add a next element of healing. This will be a frequency which your soul extension is in need of. Again, this may be freedom or lightness or trust or faith or it may simply be a color, gold, silver, platinum yellow solar energetics, supportive white or rainbow colors. Some may be guided to send out symbols or offer sounding, which you may do in your head or out loud. Feel free in this part of the healing to flow powerful healing through all 12 of your primary chakras to your soul extension. Again, more words of wisdom, light language, symbols, remindings, energetic frequencies, colors, Some may be guided to call in many angels or allow a deeper access of your spirit to connect to your soul extension. This is also the time to clear the field with your soul extension. Clear out any debris, lower frequencies. Transform them through, for instance, the violet flame or white cosmic fire or black voidal energetics. Clearing the circumstances for your soul extension will allow your soul extension to reach higher timelines and transform. Most often your soul extension will show him or herself as a different being. You may notice, for example, a very small being covered in black tar, which gently transforms into a beautiful angelic butterfly and so many other variables, Lord Ashtar states. The transformation process for all soul extensions is beyond 60% now. You are all doing very, very well, and your spirit and Lord Ashtar remind you, you have done this countless times. You are a master of energetic healing, each and every soul present, or you would not have been guided to engage in this session with your spirit. You are a master of energetic healing, multidimensional energetic healing, Lord Ashtar explains. You have ties to Ashtar command, or you would not have been guided to engage in this session. 
Remindings of your time with Ashtar Command flow through your field as well. Let go of any limitations, worries, lower level thoughts and emotions, blockages. Hand them down to the core of Gaia or to your support teams. Assist your soul extension to lift to the next level now, increasing the power of your love, the power of the frequencies you are guided to flow through their multidimensional field, around their multidimensional field. And now comes the time where your soul extension ignites their own energy, their own power, their own divine power, flowing their own love and light through their field to facilitate their own healing. For you are assisting them, reminding them that they can heal themselves. They have access to higher timelines. They are the creator of their realm and their world, their timeline. They fully recognize you now as a soul extension, a fully matching energetic signature part of your joint spirit. Some may feel guided to step into the world of the soul extension. Hold back on that, Lord Ashtar states. Facilitate from outside of the sphere of energetic healing. This will be most effective, he smiles. All soul extensions are now fully back to empowerment at 80%. Your spirit and support teams will guide you in the final stage of this healing now. Flow love, flow light, flow symbols, light language. Be guided, be the conduit from spirit to spirit now. Take time for this and trust your mastery healing abilities.
all soul extension are now 100% healed, 100% assisted. You may still feel wounds in your own field. Take note of them, be the witness to them, and you may facilitate some more healing for yourself later on. For you have experienced the wounds in your earthly incarnation connected to the wounds of your soul extension, for there are resonances there. And so often there's a little more healing to do for your own process as well. However, the influence of the wounds of your soul extension will now be alleviated, which will help you powerfully. The final step is to now in whatever circumstance is suitable on Ashtar Command Ship. In their realm is to sit or stand across from your soul extension, connect your brow, your heart and sacral chakras, and your soul extension will be fully transformed, may look fully and totally different than when you first witnessed their troubled circumstances. They offer you an energetic transmission, words of wisdom, or a gift. Accept this from them now and spend time connecting with your soul extension, with yourself on a spirit level. Deep breathing up to source, down to the core of Gaia, up to source, down to the core of Gaia, up to source, down to the core of Gaia. 
it is time now to say our goodbyes, seal up this process for our soul extension. They thank you so deeply and so profoundly, and you may connect to them whenever you so wish on the inner realms. It is time now to board your Ashtar command ship. Perhaps you stayed on your Ashtar command ship. Time for the journey back to the Divine Presence Communion Temple. The healing has been fully sealed up for your soul extension and they can now continue creating from a higher timeline in that particular lifetime for them. As you arrive back in the Divine Presence Communion Temple, spend some time setting up your pillar again up to Source, down to the core of Gaia. And download your journey through your 12 primary chakras to the crystal at the core of the temple, sharing with the crystal, the crystalline consciousness, sending these energies out through your 12 primary chakras, receiving from the crystal, grounding you deeply here in the Divine Presence Communion Temple, Lord Ashtar shares to allow 48 hours for full integration of this session. This session may be repeated once every month in your earthly incarnation and you will meet different soul extensions, different lifetimes of these soul extensions in each and every journey you take. Breathing deeply up and down your pillar now. Witness your consciousness in every cell and photon of your energy bodies. Feel the spritzing vibrations moving, the living, breathing, live spark within every cell of your field. healing, love light frequencies within every part of you. Once again, breathing deeply in and up to source, out and down to Mother Earth's heart as you fully ground and anchor what you have received in this session. Feel deeply supported as we now ask for all of this energy work to be sealed and to integrate with grace, ease, love, light and empowerment. We send all of this energy work down to the heart of Gaia to be accessible for all who are ready to receive. We thank our divine presences, Lord Ashtar, Ashtar Command, Divine Mother, Divine Father, our Ascension Councils, our support teams, our guides, the temples, Mother Gaia, the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, and the karmic board. Thank you, thank you, thank you, so be it. So be it. So be it. It is done. Breathing deeply now, up and down your pillar. Continue to do this as you bring all of your consciousness and all of your awareness fully back into your body, into your here and now. So be it, 
so be it, so be it, it is done. Again, there will be approximately 48 hours of integration time. Lord Ashtar shares you may repeat this within one month and each month after that if guided. So many deep blessings of love, of divine light and divine power. <laughs>